Good morning, everyone. That's right, it's morning. The morning after a long, long overnight work shift. Whew. Last night was something else, let me tell you. It was a busy, busy night. And uh, you know what makes it all that much better? Is when you're all by yourself. You know, when there's no one else around. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I just happen to, uh, our, our schedule just happens to be that on Monday evenings after 2.30 a.m., there's nobody else on my side of the floor. Me and one pharmacist. That's it. And we have to take care of all the duties of getting customers their medications. And that includes everything from the time we take the order to the time that it gets handed to the drivers. Yeah, yeah, it's something else. Uh, let me tell you, it was just, uh, it was incredibly busy. Just the amount of phone calls, you know, and, and then half your customers want everything stat. I mean, right away. You know, and, and everybody has to get into their e-kit for their pain medications. And, you know, there's, oh, there's just calls about drivers not able to get into facilities. There's bad rooms, you know, like room changes that have to be done. The end of the month, all of a sudden you get all these requests for, for edits, you know, for their new medical records and all the other treatment behavior sheets that they're supposed to get. I mean, the calls were kind of insane a lot of them a lot of calls you know and uh yeah we were just kind of short-staffed a couple of people were missing didn't make for a fun night just thought i'd share that with you because you look like you want to know so anyway um even driving to work okay just i just don't like it when they shut down every lane except one i just don't understand it it's 10 o'clock at night you gotta shut all the lanes down you need three you know to do your work i mean, i don't even know what you're doing i can't even see anything that's being done so why is it that you gotta shut all three lanes down and i don't even see any vehicles it, it, it's like instead of just taking the area they're going to work they shut down two miles of highway genius genius is working there i'm telling you oh maybe it's because they're going to eventually get down that extra two miles <laughs> i doubt it because it really doesn't look like they're doing anything but might as well shut them down one lane one lane traffic builds up there's a lot of people driving at night just so you know just so you know so anyway you know what else i don't like i don't know why i don't like this but i don't like it I'm driving along and I pass somebody. I may have already said this, but I don't care. I'm saying it again. I'm driving along. I pass somebody and I go by and, and I don't stay in the left-hand lane. I go back into the right. You know what drives me crazy? All of a sudden, that person that I just passed who happened to be traveling at a certain speed for whatever reason, because that's how they wanted to travel. That's what they were driving at. Now they want to drive faster. Now they're going to keep up with me. Now they want to pass me. Look at that. Now they're driving 20 miles an hour faster than they were five minutes ago. Why? What's the big deal? Why were you so comfortable at one speed and now you think you could drive faster? Why do you do that? Should that not bother me? You know what? It does. It just drives me crazy. I'm just thinking, what are you thinking? I don't know. Anyway, I don't like it. I don't like it. So, um, yeah, so I made it to work and uh, it was a busy night and... Uh, I actually wasn't tired. I wasn't tired. That's a first. Um, anything else? Well, I was just busy all night. There was nothing really good conversations that came up because even if there was, I don't really remember them. Um, however, we did talk about bad commercials. Bad commercials. Something else I don't like. You know... There are like three main reasons why I don't like commercials. I mean, one of them is usually just poor quality. The other one's just like uh, a poor message. And the other one is just, uh, just poor lines. You know what I mean? It's kind of like 
the actors are in it are stiff or bad or just the, the lines that they choose are just terrible. You know what I mean? Like you've got some that just are like an off colored subject that just doesn't really go with the product. And then you got some that are just shot bad. And then you got those ones that just got bad lines. They drive me crazy. I just can't help but sit there and criticize these commercials, even like, especially the Super Bowl. You know, when you got high expectations for Super Bowl commercials and they come out mostly bad, it makes all the rest of them even worse. You know, you know which one drives me crazy? I, I saw this one again yesterday. It was for Nestle Water, right? Nestle Water. So the little kid playing soccer comes up to the mom here, drink up, you know, drink up this, this, you know, drink here because you're losing a lot of water out there and the kid says well if we're losing water why don't we just drink water because we're playing sports if you have ever played sports you don't drink water okay you don't drink water you swish it around and spit it out because there's a little condition called being waterlogged you know scientifically i can't explain it that much better all i can say is that you will slow down you won't be able to compete as hard as you can if you drink too much water that's why you don't see professional athletes drinking water. But in the commercial, drink the water because you're losing water. Brilliant. Brilliant geniuses. Geniuses. Love it. Um, so there was that one. There was another one I saw yesterday. What, what the hell was it? It was just, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'll see it again and I'll mention it because commercials drive me absolutely crazy when they're not good. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm done complaining. Oh, um, also at work, I got my review last this morning. And, um, you know, I, I was a little bit surprised by it. I was actually, it was a decent review. It wasn't bad. You know, I've complained about other things that they don't take into consideration. And somehow, for some reason, they actually did comment on all the other tasks and duties that I perform overnight, which are a lot different than any other shift that is there. And, it, it, it told me that they had a little bit of appreciation for everything that I did. You know what I mean? Like the raise is not huge or substantial at all, you know, but I mean, it's kind of like, what do you expect in this kind of economy? You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. It'd, it'd be great, you know, to have raises that kept up with the cost of living, you know, especially even the cost of gas, you know, can you imagine a raise that had to keep up with that? So anyway, um, yeah, it was a decent raise. I was pleased. Uh, came back home, didn't really have any trouble coming home, but, um, that's it. That's it. I'm tired now. You know, I didn't even get my other video up before I f filmed this one because I just didn't have the time to do it. I need to make some more time for myself. And of course, by making time, I went and auditioned for another play. Not that I got in, but, uh. I decided to take that onto my schedule. Genius. Anyway, this ends another episode of That Grinds My Years. I figured since Peter Griffin's not doing it anymore, the title's free. So, back to you, Diane. I guess she's not there. Um... For whoever else is still there, I hope you have a wonderful day. Tell me what grinds your gears. Probably my videos. Or me just making the end prolonged. Okay, that's it. I'm going.